Hi, I'm Sam Peterson, author of Trunky, Transgender Junkie, and Sugar, A Memoir of Craving. I'm an old gay trans man with bad teeth. And I love knives. And I'm not here to rate them or tell you about the newest, fastest, bestest, wowest. I'm here to queerly share my queer love of knives with you. Knives, knives, knives. Oh my god, my cat is going mad. Let's talk about knives. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm what I would call a, an eclectic collector. I'm not driven by anything but a burgeoning sense of taste and aesthetics, a desire for the new and the interesting, and pure whim. If you see my tattoo collection, you'll know where I'm going with this. I have work that is deeply meaningful, deeply meaningful to me, like this moth on my neck, or just plain purdy, like this chest piece. I understand why people get meaningless flash art or why people would buy a highly reproduced CJRB pyrite, much as I understand why I have a tattoo dedicated to my mom, commemorating her death, and I couldn't wait to get myself a $30 maker on talism. I also sold a bunch of stuff to buy a titanium AD 20.5. <laughs> yes, I did that. That is the most money I've ever spent on a knife. And I didn't even get a deal. But what I am going to do is get that blade over to Way of Knife and have them jazz it up somehow. It's a plain titanium uh, scale, so it's gonna be awesome. They did a couple pieces with like 90s um, Dixie cup pattern. Oh, mwah, chef's kiss, so good. I have, I've hit that place in collecting where I've become interested in knives that cost more than my previous extreme knife budget which was generally around like 250. I, I always try to buy sale knives, so I have very few knives that cost me that much. I have a lot of Kaiser premium blades, for instance. I mean, they're always really good quality for around a buck 50. I think Kaiser's currently overproducing, however. Um, it's impossible to keep up with them anymore, and a lot of their new knives look like copies of more expensive but highly desirable blades. I mean, could you really come up with this shape on your own twice? But there's some frustration in seeing and hearing about knives that cost 275 and up. That looks so dang good over and over again. I'm looking at you, Metal Complex. No, he does a great job of, of uh, keeping it well-rounded, but, but between him and Knife Dope, I am in a constant state of blue balls. What is it called when you long for a knife you can't have, but, and you're teased relentlessly by your commitment to watching said knives being displayed repeatedly on YouTube? I don't even have balls. I don't have ovaries either, so don't point me in that direction. I'm going to show you a recent purchase and see what you think. This is the MKM uh, Maximo. It looked so badass and cool on the web pages, and this dude was selling it on uh, NAF sale. So, you know, I did get a bit of a discount. The problem is, you cannot flick this knife. You can't flick it. Dude didn't say when he was selling it, hey, you can't flick this knife. You can only open it by the... You know, he didn't say that. And I let him know that that wasn't cool, but I decided to keep the knife anyway. It's re <laughs> I really like parts of it. I watched a video about this knife, the Maximo post-purchase, that was critiquing it, and um, it, someone said, it's like a knife you would buy or you would find in 2012. It is overly heavy without being deliberately overbuilt. There's something very retrograde about 
this, this blade. I know, I'm a poet. But look at it, it's so fucking sexy. So sexy. I love the Italian designers. I, I love how they round their edges and the blade is a little thick. It's very well constructed outwardly, but as I mentioned, I can't slick it. I've loosened the pivot to no avail, and then I oiled it like it was an entrant in a wet t-shirt contest at the Yellow Rose. And that did seem to help, but it's still recalcitrant. Have you ever bought a knife that frustrated the hell out of you, but you kept it anyway? Yeah, that's this knife. The good news? As mentioned, I sold a bunch of shit and I bought myself a fancy pair of blades that I'll be showing off soon. This pull towards pricier knives just yanked at my inner collector so hard. I need to know, why are they so fucking expensive? Will I orgasm from opening them? Will they cuddle afterwards? Why are they so fucking desirable? I'm looking at you, Demko. TRM and all you other little bastards out there who put out eight knives a year or twice a year and then we're forced to keep sitting to keep hitting refresh on our tabs every two minutes while we're at work. I was in between teaching classes when I discovered that TRM had let loose of some knives and I about lost my mind. There was literally nothing I could do. Uh, but sit on my hands and mutter invectives at middle school for allowing only four minutes between classes and no time to put an order in. Fucking capitalism. Anyway, do you have difficult knives you love? Do you have knives you long for so much that your head might roll off your neck as you implode with longing? Well, behave yourself. I love you. That color brings out your eyes.